Welcome back to Black Cat Crypto Club. Guys, if you have watched any of my videos before, you've known that I did order the Chapter 2 Saga phone. And officially, as of today, I have paid that phone completely off with just with the airdrops that I've gotten from ordering that phone. So exciting news. I not only have I paid it off, but I've actually made a bit of money in these airdrops. And it was nothing. I didn't have to do anything other than order this phone. So if you remember way back, it was probably about a month and a half ago ish. It was right when I first started this this channel and I got that first airdrop from ordering this phone. And I said in that video, it's likely that this phone pays itself off in these airdrops before I even get it. And I didn't think it would happen this soon, to be honest, but I have paid that phone off. It, it cost me literally nothing at this point, and I've made money. And those rewards are likely to keep coming as long as I have this phone. So exciting stuff. Um, but yeah, let's get into, I mean, the first, that first airdrop was Cat in a Dog's World, which I thought was cool because this is a Black Cat Crypto Club channel. So I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> Anyways, there have been several cat meme coins that have been dropped into this wallet for ordering this, this Saga phone, but Cat in Dog's, uh, no, it was Cat with Hat was the first one. And that was only about $15 airdrop. And then the next one uh, was IQ50, which was about $50 airdrop, I believe. And so there was that, that one. And then the, the, Airdrop after that was, uh, let's see, it was Cat in a Dog's World, and it went by the, the tag Mew. And that one was actually a $300 airdrop. And then after that one, I got Woofy, which was, that one was about a $30 or $40 airdrop. And then just yesterday, I got Monaki and another meme coin airdrop, which was over a hundred dollars worth of, of Monaki that was dropped into this wallet for ordering this phone. So all those added up, I am well over what I paid to pre-order the phone. And now it's just pure profit from there on out. And on top of that, guys, if you've watched my other videos, I kicked myself for not ordering the first Solana phone uh, because it did also pay itself off in airdrops. But also I had been saying for years that if Apple or somebody made a phone with a dedicated hardware chip in it that would, that would hold my seed phrases and my wallets and keep them more safe than your average Apple or uh, Samsung or whatever you have, then I would be the first in line to buy it. And I, the, the saga, the first saga came out and I'd never heard of, you know, really what this phone, who the maker was, which is actually Solana. And so I, I decided to wait and see, ended up kicking myself for not getting one of those because they flew off the shelves once they paid for themselves. But they they soon did come out with this chapter two, and I jumped first day, I jumped right into that and was not going to miss out on that again. Now, guys, you can order this phone yourself. I do have a reference code in the description of this video. Please, if you do decide to get the, the saga, use my reference code and help me out. But there's so many benefits to this phone. Like, like I've shown in a previous video, it's much more secure than your Apple, your iPhone, or your Samsung, any other phone out there. 
it's going to protect your your the security of your tokens if you're doing anything with cryptocurrency on your phone it's a much much more secure way of doing that so that alone is worth it then it has the dapp store built into the saga which really goes a long way to help support developers of apps and all kinds of things so there's that and it's it's just going to pay itself off before before you can even know it so there's really no downside to this unless you're just addicted to uh apple or the iphone i mean the user experience on the saga, the first saga, from what I can see, is like super user friendly. Nothing really high tech that you need to, you know, know, which you would honestly kind of expect from a crypto phone. You know, that's one of the, the reasons I decided to wait and see was I thought, oh, man, this is going to be a super high techy kind of phone the user experience probably isn't going to be great but everything i've seen from reviews on that first phone are the user experience is simple as simple as it gets and it makes sense because if you do anything with solana you know the phantom app solana itself is just they've got the user experience down so if you're worried about switching over from Apple and not having that user experience, you can probably rest assured that that is not going to be the case. It, it is going to be a user-friendly thing. Um, and on top of that, you actually own, it's, it's a, a crypto phone. So you're going to be able to own your things again. Whereas with Apple and Google, you don't own the things on your phones. You don't own the songs that you bought from Apple. You don't own the movies that you bought on the App Store. You don't own the even the apps themselves that you pay for. You're renting those from Apple and Google. And it, it costs developers 30% right off the top. So by going to the Saga phone, using the dapp store instead of the apple app store or google play you're actually helping those developers out and that we're going to see a mass adoption from developers just flocking to this dapp store because they don't have to pay that 30 percent fee right off the top which is a honestly it's a business killer and you know shame on google and shame on apple for for their predatory practices in that area honestly so anyways guys i encourage you guys to get into this this is going to be you know this is history in the making it's uh it it really is going to be the future of phone technology so it's fun to be a part of if you guys want to get into that remember i do have that reference code in the description and as always guys if you have not yet please go over and help the animals out by donating a couple of dollars to Emory Farm Sanctuary. We only have a few more days in this month uh, for Emory Farm that I'm going to be showcasing Emory Farm Sanctuary. So please, please, please go over and help them out. Show them some love. I also do have that raffle going on for Emory Farm, guys. So for every $5 you get an entry into the raffle that I'm doing at the end of the month. The catch here, guys, is, you know, I'm not taking anything out of that, but in fact, all of the donations go straight to Emory Farm. So there's not even a chance for me to dip my fingers into that. But you do have to send me a picture of your donation because otherwise I have no idea that you even donated. So send me a picture, either X or threads at Drake P269. If you can't figure a way to get me a picture of your donation that way, just hit me up in the comments and we will figure out a way to get me that proof of donation. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.